right. It is uh, September 8th, and tomorrow morning is the Michigan Youth uh, Deer Hunt. And we'll be going out tomorrow morning taking my daughter Lila and my daughter Gwen uh, over to my in-laws. Uh, I'll be sitting with Gwen in one of the shacks, and Lila, my other daughter, will be sitting with Kirk. We, uh, we're going to try and get out there plenty early to get set up. Uh, it's supposed to be like 45 to 50 in the morning, so pretty cool for this time of year, uh, which would be nice. But me and Gwen will be sitting in a shack uh, watching a small small clover field um and I actually planted some uh, ideal northern edge fall forage mix i just kind of um broadcast it in with the the existing clover uh and then just overseeded some a uh, grassy area we didn't really have time to work everything up this year there um but it is starting to come up pretty decent you know it's a couple inches tall right now but the clover is really good it's been established for a couple years there so that spot looks pretty good. Um, I had some pictures of two different eight points um, yesterday. They were there at like 4.30 in the afternoon and 5.30. Um, but in the past couple weeks, there's been a few different uh, nice bucks that Gwen's pretty excited to shoot. They've been coming in about 7.30 in the morning. So uh, she's never shot a buck, so she's looking to shoot pretty much anything. I told her, you know, whatever, whatever she wants to shoot, she can have. So... Uh, and then Kirk and, and Lila will be sitting in another shack uh, on the corner of a bean field. And the beans are still real nice and green. And they are mowed right off uh, the tops and all of them. There's definitely a, a pretty good amount of deer coming out there. So, you know, they're only maybe a couple hundred yards away from us. Um, but it is two totally separate ends of the property. The way it's set up, um, we probably won't even see the same deer. Um there's a, a creek that runs between us uh, through the through the pines and that's a pretty neat little setup over there but trying to get everything packed up here you know classic wait until last minute to get everything packed up it is
September uh, 9th, and it's the Michigan Youth Hunt. <coughs> and me and Gwen are sitting out here on my in-law's property. And we're just now doing our interview. It was about 20 minutes ago. Uh, we had a real nice buck come up to our left. And he was coming through the thick brush. He needed to come about. 10 more steps to be into the clover field. And I think our wind's swirling this morning. I think he just winded us. But I was able just to get just a glimpse of him on camera. Um, but we're just kind of hunkered down here waiting. Uh, there's about four or five different bucks coming in here that, you know, I'd be happy if she shot. So we're just going to wait a little bit longer. Um, she has a soccer game later this morning, so I don't know how much longer we're going to get to set. But the woods is starting to wake up pretty good here, so hopefully something else comes out. What do you think, Gwenny? Can I see another one? Yeah. It's pretty exciting when that buck was out there, wasn't it? for sure, but at least two of them are bucks.
off to our left right now. Not sure if they're going to come in. Period. One snorted about 10 minutes ago and they've been just milling around over there. Period. Alright, it is September 9th. Uh, first night of the Michigan Youth Hunt. And we got Gwen behind the gun tonight. She almost had her chance this morning but we just couldn't get the buck to come out. But me and Kirk are heading up uh, the property he has permission on through his work. Uh, he's got a little turnip field planted up there. Uh, some ideal northern edge turnips coming in really good. And a handful of bucks coming in pretty regularly there. So um, he has just a little pop-up line set up on the edge. So we should be pulling in there in a few minutes. Uh, we got to sneak in there. Getting there a little later than we wanted to, but I had a, a wedding to go to today. so get a later start than we wanted but should be able to slip in there pretty quiet and get in there without spooking anything so we'll get some footage and get set up and see what happens
button buck like that is not a legal buck. It has to have at least three inch spikes. It has to have, yeah, like this big. Yeah. The way you can cheat it. Yep. I mean, technically you could shoot it, but put a doe tag on it, but we're definitely not doing that. September 10th, uh, day two of the Michigan Youth Hunt. This will be set number four with Gwen. Um, I've had a pretty eventful youth hunt so far. Uh, yesterday morning, she almost got a shot at a beautiful eight point. Last night, she missed a different beautiful eight point. And this morning was a little slower. We just seen some does and fawns. She could have shot the does, but we opted to let them go. Uh, cause she really has her heart set on getting a buck this year, so we are giving it one more shot tonight. Uh, we're actually back in the same blind that we sat in yesterday morning uh, where we seen the big eight point. We also saw about four other smaller bucks uh, that morning as well, so we're just watching a little clover field out here in front of us with really thick bedding off to our left. Uh, the wind is a lot better tonight. They shouldn't wind us at all tonight. That was our problem yesterday morning. The wind was kind of swirling and, and blew in toward the bedding. Um, caught that buck as he was coming out. And he uh, definitely smelled something he didn't like and just spun around and left. So didn't spook him real bad. Um, we are right close to my in-law's house. And the wind was blowing from their house to this field. So I think he just kind of, you know, he, he's used to smelling them a little bit. Um, he just got a little whiff of something he didn't like and, and wheeled around and trotted off. He wasn't spooked, so um, hopefully he'll come back out tonight. So today's Sunday, and on Thursday I had pictures of two different bucks on this field between 5 and 6, and it is 5.15 right now. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, we got about three hours of shooting time left, so we're going to put in these last three hours and see what happens but she is looking at shooting pretty much any buck that comes through um, this will be her first first buck so she did take a doe last season um, so she's really wanting to wait for that buck this year so we'll give it our best here and see what happens she's put in the time this is her, her fourth consecutive one of the weekend so um, I think she's due for one we're going to sit back here and enjoy the beautiful weather and see what happens. Stay with us. Alright, uh, still September 10th. A uh, quick update. After sitting in the first blind for about 30 minutes, Gwen decided it just didn't feel right. And she wanted to come back and hunt the bean field that we hunted this morning. Which I honestly think is probably a better chance of seeing some deer. Uh, they're really coming out and, and feeding on these beans right now, so it is still before six o'clock. Um, you know, so we got got right over here. It's only a couple minute walk over to this line, but uh, just had to cross the creek and get over here. But we're all set up, ready to go now. So we got about two and a half hours of sitting here. The sun is beating in on us right here, and it's pretty warm in the shack, so we're going to be sweating a little bit, but hopefully it pays off. Uh, I told her it was her choice. She decided she wanted to make the move, so we'll see what happens here.
Tim, look at his crooked brown tines. He's coming. No, he's going. He's eating that apple tree. Or, no, he's just eating on bushes. Yeah. Yeah.
นะเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ย Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Put your hold on. Out there, about 170 yards, and he just—he was heading away from us. So I bleeded with my mouth a couple times. I actually, did a snort wheeze, um, and he started coming, beelining right to us. Um, got pretty dang close, maybe 40 yards, maybe. And Gwen smoked him, and he took off running. I bleeded a few more times, and I'm just trying to get him to stop. He did stop. We watched him out there on the edge. He stood there forever, and he finally laid down. Um, he's pretty sick. He, he's not going anywhere, so we just gotta give him a minute now. Um, but yeah, he is a monster. So we are gonna give him some time here, and then get over there and get him. Whew. I think I'm more excited than Glenn. I think she's in shock. He's trying to get up. What? He's trying to get up.
all right, we uh, shot this buck, I don't know, about 7.30 or so. Um, went and shot him twice, watched him leave in the field, didn't want him to get through that fence line, so she put another shot in him. Dropped him, but he still had his head up, uh, so we had to let him lay there. So we went back to the house. Um, we actually ran Gwen home. She had to go to bed. It's, she had school in the morning. Um, it's, what, after 10 o'clock now. Uh, but we went out, got him, got out there, forgot the GoPro hanging in the shack still. So we <laughs> had to drag him all the way back to the shack, get the GoPro, uh, before we could do any kind of interview with him. But uh, I'm going to try and get her uh, probably in the morning before she gets on the bus. We'll do a quick photo op with it. Um, but this is a buck I've been watching since early July. Uh, I've had a ton of pictures of him. And this was her second choice buck, believe it or not. Um, we had a, a really goofy looking buck on camera. She called goofball that she was after. Um, but we did not see him this weekend. This is actually the same one she had in, had in her scope yesterday morning that winded us. Um, we just wouldn't come out of the brush. But he popped out in the bean field tonight after she decided after a half hour sitting in the other shack to move to this shack tonight because she felt like it'd be a better spot so apparently i'm just gonna ask her where to hunt every night from now on but we're gonna get him out of here and get him hung up get him cleaned out uh, we'll come back in the morning with her or you know do a quick interview with her in the morning and can't wait to see her face when she actually lays her hands on these horns so we got some work to do All right, we got Gwen up here before school this morning um, so she can come out and see her buck. We uh, had to go get it last night well after bedtime for her. She had to get up for school, so we're taking her out there right now to get her first up close look at her buck. Hey. Look at that thing. Sure. What do you think? Does he look bigger now or when he was standing out in the field? He's bigger now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, bud? <laughs> Very long. Yeah. He's got some nice tines on him. He's going in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough for a first buck? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we gotta get some pictures for you. Yep. We'll break them off when they're rubbing the velvet off sometimes. We'll get some good pictures with you here and then get you ready for school. <laughs> <laughs> 